Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, so Black Clover Chapter 290 is out. But before we jump into the chapter, I actually want to go over two big wins that the series got over this past about week and a half. Okay, so the first thing, and actually the biggest win for Black Clover, is the fact that Black Clover has actually made it into Orcon's top 10 weekly sales by series for the week of April 5th or April 11th. And this is actually a big win for Black Clover because of the fact that this is actually the second week in a row that has managed to make it into the top 10 for this chart which usually does not happen for the series. It actually usually falls just outside of the top 10. So the fact that it made it two weeks in a row after the animates ended shows that the animates ending has actually really boosted the popularity for Black Clover. And actually that actually leads me into the next big one for Black Clover. And that is that the Oricon weekly sales for the first two weeks of April is actually out. And we can see that Black Clover's newest volume, volume 28 has sold a total of 142,030 copies currently in the first two weeks. Now obviously sales wise is still falling behind other series like My Hero and Dr. Stone. But considering the fact that it sold 64,000 something in its first week and then went up another 11,000 in the second week does show that Black Clover's popularity is steadily increasing. So yeah, these two big wins for Black Clover just goes to show that even though we're all sad that the anime's over, I still gotta catch up on that and see the last few episodes. But even though we're all sad that it's over, the ending of the anime has actually really helped out with boosting the popularity for Black Clover's manga. So it's kind of a lose-win situation right now, and we gotta keep in mind that as long as the manga keeps selling very well and actually continuing to increase the popularity, the anime will eventually come back sooner than later. And also I can't say it enough times, and I'm sure every single other YouTuber who talks about Black Clover has said it as well, but when the movie comes out, whether it be in theaters or online, support the hell out of it. The more we support the movie, the more it tells the studio over in Japan that we want more Black Clover. Okay, so finally getting into chapter 290, I feel like this chapter, and not only this one, but chapter 287, 288, and 289 as well, have also shown that Asa is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, the strongest character that we've been introduced to in the series so far, at least when he's in this Devil Union mode, and I think that maybe the only other character that I can really think of off the top of my head that could possibly give him a run for his money in this mode would be possibly Julius. Because I honestly think that even though Julius did almost die fighting off against Patry, I still don't think we ever actually got to see his full power. And thinking back to Julius when he was in his prime, he might have been stronger than what Asta is currently. But again, we never got to see Julius actually go all out. But when it comes to the other characters that we would usually see as contenders for being the strongest character in the Black Clover universe, like Yami and Mario Yona, you can definitely tell that Asta when he's in this double unit mode definitely outranked both of them. Because, I mean, think about it. Throughout this entire fight, I don't think Asta struggled at all. In fact, I don't think he actually got hit one time throughout the entirety of these past three chapters. And the only reason why he actually struggled to land a hit on the Lofanama was because of the fact that they were using the fire and ice that they created throughout the entire battlefield to freely travel through. And then once he actually got rid of that, he was easily able to land a hit killing Nama. So Asta really does show that he's actually way stronger than these demons. In fact, the only reason why they or devils, I should say. In fact, the only reason why they actually managed to kind of put Asta in the corner is because they had to pull Patri and endanger the entirety of the Spade Kingdom capital. So basically what I'm getting at is that all these factors show that Asta in this double uniform has definitely surpassed both Yami and Mario Yona. Well, actually, I might throw a caveat on Mario Yona because of the fact that we actually haven't seen her full power in her new transformation, her new Hellfire transformation. But we can definitely say that he's definitely surpassed Yami. I mean, honestly, I think Yami possibly could have won this fight too because his dark attribute gives him an advantage over devils, but I don't think Yami would have been able to do it without taking some serious damage, and since Asa Man should not get hit throughout the entire fight, I think this does show that he actually has surpassed Yami at this point. The beginning few pages of the chapter were actually kind of cool because we actually get to see Asa throw the freezing sun back at Lilith and Nama, and we see Lilith actually absorb herself into the sun, and at first I thought, okay, you're just going to take your own attack. But then I realize she's probably immune to it at this point, so there's no real reason for her to try to dodge it. And then that's when we actually see Asta actually figuring out that she probably won't get hurt by her own attack, going up there and slicing it up in order to get to her in kind of like a surprise attack. And for the first time since they came out of the gate, we see that Lilith is not having any fun during this fight. In fact, she actually gets a little bit afraid of Asta and tries to run from him because she realizes that she can actually not beat him in this form. So she actually tries to run away, at least until he actually ends up running out of time on his double union form, because she, I guess she overheard him when he said in chapter 287, I believe, that he only had about 5 minutes left or that a minute had already passed on his 5, on his five minute time limit. So she's planning on basically just outrunning him until the time limit runs out. And you know what? As cool as it is to see a devil actually run from Asta, I really feel like, like I said in my last review, we should have got the fused version of Lilith prior to Asta showing up. Like honestly, I feel like back when Nock actually trapped them in that shadow prison, they should have fused together in order to break out of it, and then we should have got a few chapters of them fighting Nock in that form and completely decimating him to really drive home the impact of how much stronger Asta is now because of the fact that he pretty much just decimated them. 
Now, speaking of Nock, he actually gets to be useful in this chapter because of the fact that once Lilith actually tries to run away from Asta, Asta actually can't catch up with her because she's actually too fast for him. But Nock comes in with his shadow magic and actually manages to trap her and hold her down long enough for Asta to land a hit on her, killing her off in this chapter. And it was actually kind of cool seeing these two characters work together to defeat Lilith. And you can imagine that if Morgan actually had convinced Nock to actually join the Magic Knights prior to his death, and Tabata actually kind of highlights that whole theme of brothers working together to defeat an opponent, because at the end of the chapter, after Asta lands the final hit on Lilith, that's when his double union actually finally runs out, and we see him and Libe actually split apart, and the two of them celebrate as the final shot of the chapter, their unison or their teamwork of defeating a high-ranking devil. And actually, speaking of Libe, a big portion of this chapter actually deals with his inner monologue, basically talking about the fact that he, the lowest-ranking devil on the first floor, is now facing off against and defeating with the help of Asta, the highest-ranking devil of the first floor, and these few pages of dialogue really shows off exactly how much Libe actually does appreciate Asta for giving him this opportunity to defeat a high-ranking devil to kind of exact his revenge against the devils that actually took their mom away from them. But anyway guys, that is it for this week's chapter. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Like, did you enjoy getting to see Asta finally defeat the Fuse version of Loaf in this chapter with the help of Nock? And did you think like I did that we should have gotten Diffusion prior to Asta showing up? So we could have really had a chance to really see exactly how powerful they could be. And are you enjoying seeing this brotherly bond form between Libe and Asta? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are thinking. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. And look forward to my video for this week's chapter of Boku no Hero Academia coming out this Sunday. But that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.